Welcome back guys. Another hard mode mission guide, reverse side province this time from a monk's point of view. The mission is simple, get the scepter of ore and escape from the white mantle camp. But the bonus is more complicated because you must destroy all watchmen at each tower and of course those places are full of white mantle. The usual hero setup is good enough, however some anti-melee hexes are also welcomed. Good idea to bring an ineptitude mesmer to or give empathy to ease surge mesmers. Knockdown and interrupts will help defeat the abbots more easily and stance removal skills are great against the watchmen. If you play this mission smartly you can avoid brick groups and hunt down groups of maximum 3 or 4 white mantles at a time. Like I mentioned to get credit for the bonus you have to clear most of the fools in this mission. There are a total of 9 towers by the way and the first one is already in the beginning right in front of us. Always start with some patrolling groups first, like I do, and don't rush to the tower immediately. Kill the small groups and be very very patient. If there is an abbot, focus your firepower on that one. And when the tower area looks safe, go and kill the remaining foes. Also a good idea to put displacement, shatter and union before a growing. Anyway, if you are a melee character, you can hit the watchtowers through the gate since the game has no vertical axis. After the first tower is cleared, keep right and talk to Sedra. She will tell us about some weapon supplies to be delivered to the Shining Blade, but sadly she can't get past the towers, so this is why we must clear the place in advance. After her dialogue the gate will open, but be very careful here, don't over overgrow. Clear out this place and go back to the direction of the first tower and keep right again. Two towers done, seven left. The next part is probably a trap of the undeads. Honestly, they are not serious opponents, and holy damage is doubled against them. Third tower comes now and another place where careful approach is a must have. Best if you leave heroes behind at a safe spot, micro spirits on the ST and aggro yourself. Try to bring only one group to your heroes then go one by one. Another tower, defeat the small groups first, also the group on the left side. I wasn't sure if these two would cause problems, but safety first and we killed them anyway. After that wait a bit and let the groups unite and separate. When the latter happens, aggro and kill the lonely ones.
5 towers left, you can skip this group anyway, the next tower is closed, skip right again. I wonder how difficult this mission would be if the white mantle would stay closed in one big group. Luckily they don't, giving us many opportunities. The next part is a bit tough, plenty of abbots here, but enchantment removals and knockdowns will help. We are getting close to the scepter finally, one group stands between us and Dynast now. If we get a good spawn you can avoid them, if you don't then back to the usual kill everything that move tactics. Once the boss group is done talk to Dinas, there is a cutscene, skip or watch doesn't matter. Dinas will give you the scepter, then click on the lever, this will open the gate and get ready for some undeads. By the way, if you hold the scepter in your hands, it gives plus 1 energy regeneration and if you drop it, it gives plus 10 energy for nearby creatures. Zaki Lament is an undead boss, it shares his spot with other undead bosses. However, better if you kill the grasping ghouls first, those HP are lower and die much faster. We are getting close to the last part guys, a cleric group now, clerics have some weak protection prayer build, won't be a problem. And now simply wait, I almost made a mistake here, didn't see the arriving undead group, kill those first, then the white mantles. This was the 7th tower by the way, only 2 left, but the last 2 are very close to each other. Then continue on the road till you reach the hill giants. I like to kill them first because if things get bad, I mean if I overgrow at the white mantles or something, I can run back to safety without thinking of potential giant threat. The next part requires patience and smart aggros again. This mission is all about these two, to be honest. Yoloing and uh, C spacing is not fireball in hard mode here. Let the white mantle spread and aggro one close group at a time. Watch your hero's HP movement too, flag them away if needed.
And finally the last tower, do the same as earlier, the last phase of the mission is the bridge and the random white mantle boss. You can even lure this one from the bridge or kill it, both works. Then simply walk through the bridge with the scepter in your hands and the mission is completed. So guys, this is how you do Riverside Province in an easy way. Next thing is a solo boss farm than the promised necro guide. So stay tuned because more bits will come.